then you have the next function which is the data and date and time function this is obviously going to be related to um, excel okay let's see that so if you use the date function this function returns the serial number of a particular date that you want uh, date if function so this calculates the number of days months or years between two dates for example if somebody tells you that uh, you know uh, uh, some ex employee is going on maternity leave okay now we all know that the maternity benefit that we get in india is let's say 6 months so now you want to calculate how many number of days or months or years is going to happen from her uh, date that is there when she's leaving plus the date that she's going to come so how much time is going to be calculated that you can do by using the date if function so this function is useful in formulas where you need to calculate an age also or if you want to calculate a number of days spent also by a person okay then date value function this converts a date in the form of a text to a serial number now when this is important uh, when you are going to basically uh, put in uh, let's say uh, account numbers bank account numbers some bank account numbers are very huge if you see some are very short but some are very huge okay so what happens is if you put the entire number into excel uh, excel will not give, you know display that i can just show you one second guys this is something that might be helpful for you that's why i'm just showing it to you in excel so let's say we have a very huge number account number that is there okay of an employee now if i go to another cell can you see it is not showing the number that i have typed what what is the number i have typed it's this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 1 2 3 4 but what is the number that is getting displayed here it's different right because that is because you have added a lot of numbers in one particular cell it will show you this way so in that way when you want to see how much uh, you know the actual number is or what the actual number is then you can basically change the format into format cells you can go to text function or number function and put the decimal places that you want let's say zero and then it will the cell will show you what the number you have actually inputted in that cell okay next is date value function which converts a date in the form of a text to a serial number day function it converts a serial number to a day of the month e date function it returns the serial number of the date that is the in, uh, that is indicated number of months before or after the start date then you have r function it converts a number to an r then you have a minute function it converts a serial number to a minute then you have a second function converts a serial number to a second time function returns the serial number of a particular time time value function it converts a time in the form of text to a serial number so that was about date and time function 